Ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls of all ages, pets, old women, sons, amoebas, viruses, no, fuck off viruses, we are going to play, attempt to play some Nicol Bolas Tribal in standard. And by standard, I mean historic, because I'm a dumb shit. So, Hour of Devastation is what? Uh, each each non-Bolas Planeswalker? That's interesting. Is there a card better than Chromatic Lantern? Is Chromatic Sphere legal? Standard historic checks out thought... Always going with thought seizes, guys, you know. And thought erasures. But I think six is enough. Hold on, I have to respond to Kerwit. Kerwit's. Okay. At least one Eldest Reborn. I actually think Eldest Reborn is great. What about Bolus in we got we can put Bolus's Citadel, Imbolus' Clutches. I actually think Imbolus' Clutches is decent. I don't know if it's great in this format. Um Steamy Boys. Drowny Boys. Um, what else we got? Sulfur Boys. What's the other one? Drowned. Dragon Boys. That's not gonna... Nope. Okay, let's add a K. We're gonna get there. There we go. Um... Watery Graves. What if we put, like, Niv-Mizzet in here, too? I'm missing one of these, right? Blood Crypt. God, I'm just, like, terrible at, like... Nope. <laughs> I'm just really bad. Let's just name Crypt, right? Oh, Crypt of the Eternals. Okay, that's tapping. Nope, that's not good. There's no... Unfortunately, there's no Grixis Triome. Three Dragon Skull Summits. We want four Dragon Skull Summits. Oh, we're not, we're not playing Beacon, though. We do have Chromatic Lantern, though. That counts, right? Triple Black Bolus and Niv Mizzet? I mean, all our lands tap for everything, you know? You know what I'm saying? You feel me, bro? I mean, we could take out the Niv Mizzet. I mean, do we just play four, like four and four, like 12 and 12 as our, as our mana base? I only put three Sulfur Falls initially because I wanted to have bla all the black sources because Nicol Bolus is triple black. And we could go a little bit easier out in the Sulfur Falls just to add a basic, maybe. God, Thief of Sanity. <laughs> um... Actually, let's go to this look. Always gaunting. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I don't think I don't think we're gonna play the island. It's just the last one.
Um, what kind of two drops are we looking at here? There's still no, there's no like nothing that ramps us from two to four, right? In black. I assume it would be an artifact, right? So let's look up <laughs> artifact, two mana. I want to add a term. Can I not add a term? Oh well. Pretty sure it doesn't exist. The thing I'm looking for does not exist. Mine stone? That's not legal, right? Guardian idol? Well, treasure map definitely doesn't ramp us. Oh, guardian idol seems great. It never lets... Oh, Mindstone is legal? What? That seems better. I mean, the problem is they'll never let us cast Nicol Bolas on 5 or Niv-Mizzet. And I think that's probably big enough that, like, we just don't worry about it. Yeah, all right. Eventually, yeah, you know, treasure map would would help us eventually, but uh, you know. Oh, add one mana of any color in your commander's identity. That's pretty good. It's not very good. Okay, um, what do we do want? We do want thief. I think thief is just so good. Oh, we have to we have to take off this and this. Um we also want unmoored ego. I don't know if elder spell is really relevant in historic. I don't know how many planeswalkers people are playing. Like I don't feel like we've come across a ton, but What's like decent card draw? Or cards that like we just want to play on turn like two. God, I wish Baleful Strix was legal. Holy crap, that would be so good. I don't love Narset because it does die to Hour of Devastation. Whereas, I guess I guess it doesn't matter, right? Like you're going to get your value. Like if you go Narset, you're going to automatically put it at three. And then the next turn you could just go Narset again, Hour of Devastation. I don't think that matters. Um, I like the accumulated knowledge. I don't know if it's going to be great in here. I think search for Azkanta's poop. I don't think it affects the board enough. Is there like something better than Anticipate? I feel like there should be, but I don't think there is, unfortunately. I also don't know if we're going to play Chromatic Lantern, so that's kind of like a placeholder. Murderous Rider. I feel like this is just going to look a lot like the blue-black deck we played. Why? Mutterous is why. That's why. I'm like, why aren't you showing up? Because Mutterous is not a... Do you mean an artifact that scrubs then draws? Well, I don't know what you mean by scrubs. Mm -hmm. Wow, cast Dao is has all of these things? That's crazy. Thank you. Hmm. Monkey knife fight. Thank you for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. I think it's probably just another sulfur falls. There's a lot of 
Scarab God is in the format. Maybe we just play Scarab God. I'm gonna cut one more hour. Put two virulent plagues in the sideboard. Does Graft Digger's Cage hurt us at all? I don't think so. Uh, I don't love Croxon decks like this because we're not filling the graveyard with anything, and also because them discarding just a random card is not uh, that good. Put in two Chupa Loops. Um, I did want another hour in the sideboard. craft three right now put you in the sideboard how do, what can i not do this how does it like, hover over this? okay well that's a solid that's a good i guess i gotta go like this there we go good deck take one out i'll ride Got two more slots here. Uh, and so, I mean, there's tons of, I mean, like, there's tons of black cards that I would play instead of, instead of anger, like, um, you know, Ritual of Soot, things like that, which I think is probably worth. A slot, two, I don't think we need, think we need to cut one of those. Cry of the Carnar. I think Ritual is such just better. Like three ego seems excessive, really, against things like Field of the Dead. That's interesting. I do like Bone Crusher Giant actually. That seems pretty decent actually. I wonder if that's the. I wonder if this is the deck. This is a very. Oh, we actually probably want another land. What if we just cut the Nimmizits? Is this too cute? Cut that. Definitely adding a swamp. Because we're definitely uh, mostly black. Uh, don't want to play Field of Ruin. It's we're we're very color intensive. We also don't need it when we have one more to go in for Elm Plague. Like I mean, I, we're just trying to cast Nicobolus on on like we have double black, three colors, double black, five five colors. Like if you like, if Field of Ruin is one of your two or three lands on you, you might not be able to cast either one of these. I don't think this man is going to be rough at all. Like every single land is a, a dual land. I mean, as long as we hit lands, I think we're fine. I think we're just going with the full set of everything. Just add another Suffer Falls. Oh, cancel. And we get one more slot. Hmm. I mean, we do get... Yeah, I think Mystical Dispute's actually probably fine. Oh, we also have hours, so maybe we don't need this many rituals. Or maybe we just don't need the extra hour, actually. That seems fine. Hmm. 
Fiend Artisan? I don't think we're a Fiend Artisan deck at all. Is there any good three drops that we just really want to include? Like one Narset? I don't think I don't think that's good. I don't think we need, what do we need Spyglass for? Like what are we playing Spyglass for? I'd rather just kill Planeswalkers with like Murderous Riders. Like we have Murderous Rider and Hour of Devastation in the main deck. Like I just don't think. Ashiok's decent. I can see Ashiok. Oh, that makes me want to play this five drop Ashiok. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Is Silumgar legal? That's not. That it would still show up though, right? We're not playing. Silumgar is not legal in this format. Why would you say that? <laughs> I cannot believe you've done this. That's messed up. Oh, uh, I don't think we want any more four drops. Like, I don't I don't think I need Atris when I have Nicobolas, Ravenous, Chupacabra, and Gonti. Like, this is eight four drops. I think Atris was great in the previous build when we didn't have Nicobolas, but... I really just want one more three drop here, or one more two drop. Hmm... I really don't mind another thought erasure. I mean, I think that's also a fine place to. All right, guys, I'm out of, I'm out of mythic wild cards. Trichel. Trichel B. Capital B, huh? All right, you're doing the Lord's work here, buddy. There we go, Bolus Trimal. All right, let's see what happens. Traditional historic. Uh, I think Heartless Act and Eliminate are both worse than Cast Down. Heartless Act can't kill like three threes. It can't kill um, so the creatures it can't kill. Whereas like Cast Down kills most creatures, I would say. Whereas like Eliminate also you don't. There's like what like what three mana Planeswalker do you care about with Eliminate? I think people are confusing the the fact that Eliminate is a great card with the fact that it's not a great card in like standard and and historic because there's just no three mana like planeswalkers that you care about like narset i'm not going to kill narset teferi's band uh yep snap it uh get rid of you so like literally the only three mana planeswalker you care about is is narset which means like it's killing a creep it's literally just smother and both cast down and heartless act are better than smother uh, Vraska's Contempt is playable, but I would just play Murderous Rider instead, because it gives you a body. Yeah, see, the thing I love is that, like, once you get any single shock land... Um... Did he say for Venser? That's kind of cool. Once you get any single shock land, all of these come into play untapped. Huh. Chandra 3 is seeing play, but I don't think that's a nearly enough of a reason to play Eliminate. Yeah, I think Eat From Existence, like, the, the ability to, like, uh, surveil um, over gaining two life seems better. It's also easier to splash. So, I don't know. This card seems like it's going to be really obnoxious. 
Yeah. Okay. Well. What the fuck is this deck, man? So one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, I guess we can't stop that, right? I mean, it's either Thief. Yeah, it's just Thief, I guess. Can't play these, can't do this. I mean, this is one of the situations where uh, Heartless Act is better than Cast Down, but I think in general, if you're trying to stop things from um, from killing you early, then I think you want the... Uh, I don't know. I think they're both good. Oh, that's interesting. Playing this instead of God Pharaoh's statue? Oh, this is very interesting. Eldest Reborn. I mean, we have to just kind of get rid of Golos, right? I'll probably just block Psalm Similac from here. It sucks, but I think keeping Nicobolus alive is a better engine than Thief of Sanity. Darn them the boost. Uh, Solemn is probably not good in our deck because we have zero basic lands. And uh, in order to put any number of relevant basic lands in our deck, we would have to uh, tweak the entire mana base. Master of the Unseen, uh, as far as I know, is not legal because it's Cons of Tarkir. Well, that is unfortunate. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> oh, good lord. What do we hit? My god. How much mana? One, two, three. We have six mana, huh? So we can definitely cast this Ugin. Wow. Yeah, Super Fritz, I can get behind it, bro. Dang it. <laughs> that was unexciting. 8 mana Ugin does not get rid of his stuff, but neither does 6 mana Ugin, so that doesn't really change my decision. Our statue is super weird and annoying. Well, to be fair, I don't have Ugin in hand. It's it's with Thief of Sanity, so it's not in my hand. Technically. <laughs> Got him. 
more like wrecked goulashi, am I right? Explore? Field of Ruin? This is why we got one basic in the net, guys. This is Ugin Tribal versus Bolus Tribal. That's hilarious. Oh my goodness gracious. Alright, well now we get to kill that guy at least. One, two, three, four, five. I hope we draw land so we can play this Eldest Reborn. Oh god. We did not draw land. We have six mana, so the only thing we can cast is either Palladium Mirror, which we can't activate, or Murderous Rider. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's something. We'll play this guy because if we attack Karn next turn. Thankfully, this is legendary. Mobilize District is kind of five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. I need five of it to do this, so if they play anything that costs. Awaken. What? Wild. And yeah, no blocks. This deck is wild, and I'm kind of a fan of it. Oh! I mean, they get to play another one, which is unfortunate, but... Probably getting rid of Karn here, right? Do you have one card in hand? <laughs> what are you gonna do? Let's resolve it. Huh, they did not attack. That's interesting. I have 
nine mana. Okay, so they can play this next turn, and then we lose a life. So we're basically at four. We have to keep that in mind. Like, we could play Ugin, kill Ugin. We go to three, we kill this, and then we have one blocker, so we die to this and this. Yep, that's pretty rough. Um, hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. We kind of have to get rid of the Ugin, though. Yeah, all my timeouts are going away because I'm, like, fucking having to figure out what's going on here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there's nothing we can really do. Eldest and Rider, does that? That doesn't do anything. One, two, three, four. Yeah, enter tap. Play this guy. I mean, because they just lightning bolt. Eh, I guess it's fine. You can't, we can't murder Ugin. We don't have a murder strider in our hand. Otherwise, that would have been a very easy play to make. Because then we'd be at three, but then we'd have two guys to their two guys, so. I guess they also have mobilized district, which is not ideal. It was on an adventure. <laughs> hey guys, I'm just murderous riding over here. Yep, that sounds good. Activate mobilized district to kill me. Yep. I, I don't think there was any winning play here. I think God Pharaoh's statue is a pretty obnoxious card here. This this deck seems amazing. I did not think God Pharaoh's statue would actually be uh You know, historic playable. We're tapped out, and you have a mobilized district and a play mirror. Why aren't you killing me? I don't understand what's going on. What the fuck? Why am I not dead? Please acknowledge lethal. <laughs> God damn. <sighs> okay, I'm at three now. This is hilarious that I have an Ugin. I think I think the answer I think we should have taken the the six mana Ugin from them. I think the command is gone. I think that was one of the ones that we lost in the great in the great MTG bot reset. I mean we got to go to two here. Each one discards a card. No cards. Draw a thought erasure. No cards. Sounds good. Okay. Let's go to game two. Can you survive two turns? No. No, I can't. No, I cannot. Bone Crusher is not terrible here. 
Elisha Born's pretty bad. They have a bunch of cards to sacrifice. I don't know if I love Elisha Born on this list. <laughs> Please acknowledge Lethal. Oh, man. It's, it's just wonderful. Take a cheap sound, I guess. Man, Grixis is a... Oh. Oh, I like a braid. What if we play some braid in here? Oh, I like that. I do feel honored to have been here for that moment. Oh, yeah, it is a keeper. I actually think this is fine to keep. I think this has a better impact on the game if we can get to that much mana than, than Ravenous Chupacabra does. I have three Nicol Boluses in hand. Nice. Approach deck? I mean, we have seven discard spells. And three counter spells. I mean, if that's not enough to deal with an approach... Plus, I really don't think they're that popular. Like, you just can't sideboard against every single deck. Oh, someone asked if there are any prison decks, and you mentioned the approach deck. Yeah, I think that's as close as you can get, just because the cards aren't legal. Like, there's no real prison cards. There's no, like... There's no Blood Moon. There's no Ensnaring Bridge. There's nothing like that. Chalice of the Void. I mean, Historic is closer to Pioneer than any sort of older format, so. I was wondering if you physically approach decks. Yeah, you, you kind of have to, you know. It's a thing I like to do. Oh, that was cool. That was a... That was a good game. So they have God Pharaoh's thing. They have eight Ugin, six Ugin, and ten Ulamog. Those are the things we care about. They just really didn't want to see that watery grave. They were like, oof, watery grave? I don't think so, buddy. Yeah, I'll keep this. You guys ready for Mind Stone? That's basically just a, that's a green Mind Stone. Karn. Oh, no Karn. No Karn. Okay. Okay, well, definitely I'll play Unmoored for, like, God Pharaoh's Temple, right? Ugin, explore, explore, Mind Stone. Did they just take them out? Wow, that's hilarious. Why would you do that? 
this hand is not great. And they don't have a sixth land, so... That's cool, they can't play Ugin here. <clears throat> Weird. I mean, the problem is if we play Nicol Bolas, they're just going to kill it with Ugin. It's Gaunty here. Oh my god, they used Karn to get the statue? Did they do that twice? Uh, it's actually pretty sweet. Um, Actually, Karn sucks. Karn Scion's pretty decent if we don't hit a land. Pretty decent, actually. Probably the dude we want here. Oh, we hit a land, too. That's nice. That's all we wanted. I mean, we chose God for our statue because it was the one card we couldn't actually deal with. Good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I kind of want to hit one, two, three, four, five, six. Two thought seizes. Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna thought seize you. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sometimes you just don't cast on more ego and you feel like a fucking idiot. I mean, I guess we have Murderous Rider. Thank you. Kill this, deal four to here, that's fine. Gaming Champ, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back.
they're all going to draw a card either way. I mean, Solemn might be better to block just because we have Scarab got in hand, so... Having Scarab in the graveyard is... Or having Solemn in the graveyard is nice. You got it. Must be nice. How convenient. Three, four, five, six, seven. So we can cast this for three, and then... Deck seems really fucking annoying. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like, we're dead on board, <laughs> is the problem. But I'm tempted to just plus two and see if we can hit a friggin' in Ulamog, because that would be amazing, right? Seven damage to an opponent. Which one controls are planes or one controls? That doesn't even kill. <laughs> you came here with a plan. Give me that Ulmog! Yeah. Alright. Don't like that. I mean, we definitely should have named Ugin with Elmore Ego. I think that would have changed the entire game. I also don't like certain things in here. Take out the hours. Add another god. Um... Add three braids. Take out the bone crushers. I don't care about you. I also do think Ugin is good. I don't love Eldritch Reborn, I just think there's too much going on in this format. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Traditional historic. Bolus Tribal will ride again. I'll keep. Oh, Bedevil is nice. See, this is what we're talking about. See, sometimes it's hard to like figure out all the cards. You're like, why are there so many cards? We haven't drawn a thought seize yet. In our opening hand, anyway. Look, we'll both be hot, hot, hot pets. Hot pets coming through. Yes, we added a braid. Wow, that was a great draw. Diva Sanity and Nickel Bolus is exactly what I want to be doing. Oh, 
All good. Should be a little bit dead. I mean, this is a great curve, though. Nickel Bolas into Scarab God. Sweet, but what does mine say? Exact swamp. Oh, what did they get rid of? My internet is without limits. I feel like I think he just said my internet is without limits, which is pretty sweet. It's good to have solid internet when you're a when you're a god. Oh, you just languished my guy. What's well, a one for one? That's a two for one, because he made you discard. Turkard is your opponent. man. Yeah, let's do that. I just think that's probably better than whatever Ugin's gonna offer us. Oh boy, we get to go Ugin into Nicobolus again? Who likes that? Oh yeah, Gross Spiral. Do that. Okay, so you have two swamps and two fields. So you have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you're just basically dead here. This is his story. Is he shilling for Comcast Fire or not? My internet is beyond. Mmm. Okay. So you're not dead anymore. Do you have a desert in play? No. Okay. So you're only getting like eight dudes. Four dudes. He said eight dudes. It was only four. <laughs> Nickel Bolas under this guy? Who else is seven years to target opponent? Oh wow, that's interesting. We could play this Nickel Bolas negative for him and then negative for him. And just... <laughs> Deal 14? That's wild. I have returned as the prophecies Oh, that's actually really good. So we just get the ultimate this and win next turn. Secrets manifest before you. Nikki B is a sandy little butthole. A braid's pretty bad in this matchup, I imagine. You know what's good in this matchup though? Plague. You know what else is good? On Mord Ego. You know what's not good? Probably cast down. Mystical dispute's probably okay though. Shut up and take my money. Oh, what? Xfinity here, just reminding you that we have the fastest internet you can buy because we made it that way. We've worked tirelessly to crush any competition so that you wouldn't have a choice. It doesn't matter if you like us, you still have to pay us. Dang, thanks, Comcast. Or Xfinity, or you know, whatever your name is. 
Oh, Ashiok is good for Hour of Promise. Let's take all the shitty cards out. There's a bunch of shitty cards here. Um, probably Murderous Rider. Bring another Dispute. Bring in Thought. Bring in Ashiok. And then we just got a bunch of fat dudes in, in Disruption. Bridge Bully. Have a good afternoon, buddy. Or night. You know, whatever it is. I don't know. I don't know what time it is for you. Got a bunch of dog cuties down here. Dog cuties. Check in and see you. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. Turn one thought season to turn two thought erasure. And then a bunch of fat, fat, beautiful idiots. Oh, you got me. You got me. Is it this one? Or is it this one? This one? Or this one? T today, Junior. Come on, buddy. Hmm. They took neither. What do you got here? You got one land in hand. Interesting. I kind of just want to take hour. You have no lands. Take all the hours, man. Yeah, we'll keep that on top. So next turn we can play Dragon Skull into Mystical Dispute. And then we can just play Gonti next turn. Hot blooded! Check it and see! Casting Euro is pretty ambitious when you have Blast Zone and Swamp in play. And the internet cut out while you were reading that Xfinity ad, and I didn't use. Wow. Oh, I like that even better, because now I just get to play Gonti without taking two more damage, which is kind of what I wanted to do. We've hit two hours, so we're just hoping they don't hit another hour, I guess. Guys, my Gonti luck is back. Hot butted? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. You know. Hot buttered. Check it and see. My bread is buttered. Take my money. Bolusfinity here. We are the superior internet. There shall be no other internet before me. Kneel before the power of fiber optics. You know, I really like it when internet services compete over me. Get in there. Do your worst. Do your worst. So one, two, three, four, five. Like I just don't think keeping Mystic, Mystical Dispute is is relevant here because they just don't have great seven. They don't have great six mana plays, and they really have to draw an hour for that to be relevant. So I'm just gonna play this. But then again, taking two is kind of taking two is not bad. I mean, it doesn't do anything for us. They have no pressure. They can put this to three, and that's fine. We'll just trade. Because them, like, losing lands here is actually pretty good for us. Oh, they're going to put it to four. 
Is Gonti worse for you than Thief of Sanity? I'm pretty sure the X in Xfinity is just short for Bolus. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. It's a weird... Languish is a weird choice. We only have like two creatures that actually... Are you serious right now? Wow. Double whiffs. That's incredible. I like that. Mystical dispute. Okay. When you understand reality, ether itself serves you. Well, they got green, blue, green, blue. They can do it. They could, they could. Oh, okay. Boy, Mystical Dispute would have been cool there. This is a good, Ugin was a good addition here. I think this Ugin is fantastic. Yeah, easy, easy block. Got to draw land. So that next turn when we draw Nicobolus, we can cast him. You got it. You have, what are your four cards in hand, man? It feels weird that we had a better game one than... This is fine. It just doesn't do anything. They know about drowned. I'll just play the drowned. Look at your four, five, six, seven. So next time we can flip this, and then the turn after that, if we hit another land, we can play Scarab God and activate. Scarab God activating on uh, Euro is pretty decent, just to get it out of the graveyard. Oh, how nice. Fascinating. Plus two draw two cards. It deals ten damage to a creature or planeswalker. Put target a creature and play in front of your under your control. Hmm. 
when Bolas comes along, you must flip it. <laughs> now flip it into shape. When Bolas comes along, you must my man. Now flip it into shape. Shape it up. It's not too late. You got it. Thief of Sanity goes away. Let's have one card and two euros. I feel like we're in good shape here. Fire dog. Fire dog. Doing the things of fire. I think I forgot about Bedevil. I don't know why. It's actually in standard, which is kind of funny. So you can negative three to kill that guy. You can negative three to kill that guy. Sounds good. Negative four? I mean, that doesn't really do much just because it's... Uh, One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. So sulfur to prevent the damage. Ten damage to a creature planeswalker. I think we want a body here. I'm just gonna play Scarab God first. Bow body. <laughs> All right. So now we can eat their guy. So if we kill this, is it? Do either of them exile Nicole Sister and just? Destroy. So we have two blockers. They're not going to have a dude on board. This might die, but it just comes back to our hand. Pretty sure plusing the Cabalus here is better. Oh! So well, you don't get you don't get either because they die because you didn't escape them. Like you're not keeping either no matter if I can make it with Scarab God or if I make it with Bolus, you're not keeping it. So I'd rather spend the four with Scarab God to exile it because I want it out of their graveyard. This guy's at 11. This guy comes back. Oh, 
Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, we don't have the mana for it. Okay, I was like real excited. I was like, oh my god, we have mystical dispute mana up. Right now they only have three mana up. But we just get this guy back, so that's kind of cool. Seems good. Ha <laughs> ha! Yep, let's get rid of that fat idiot. Oh yeah, that's guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, Elder Guard Roth's not super scary. I just don't want you to hit a Anula Mog. And by Ulamog, I mean Dugan. I can't wait. Oh my fucking god! How are you so lucky all the time? It's not even that bad. It's just, it, it's like I say, it's not even that bad that it happens and they're basically still in a terrible position. It's just frustrating that it's the exact card I'm like, don't draw this and then they draw it, right? Like it's just, that's frustrating. Six. Yeah, let's unmoor to ego you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, no. Okay, we're just gonna win the game. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good, huh? Man, this is how Bolus Tribal wins the game. At least he dies. Yeah, like it's not a like it's not like again, like I I never thought I was like, oh no, now we're gonna lose the game. It was just like it's frustrating. Like I don't wanna call a card. And have you draw that exact card. Actually, I don't know if Bedevil is better than... Than a Braid, right? Like, we're just playing a Braid instead. I guess it kills... Yeah, it kills Planeswalkers. Don't call them then. Yeah, that's a good... You know, I can't really argue with that, I guess. I really liked Ugin. Ugin was really good. We could also add a second Bedevil for a second of Braid, but I really don't want to, like, go too low on the two drops. Like, six two drops, and then four, five, six, seven, eight, three drops. It's not ideal. Yeah, I think this deck is fun. I think that green deck is sweet too. Uh, 
Uh, keep. Damn, why can't I predict the future? It's true. Planes? Oh boy. Oh uh, boy, two Adanto Vanguards and two One Drops. Oh boy, this is actually aggressive. I think we get rid of a Vanguard here. Yeah. And you can go on the bottom, you're just gonna be too slow. And we got Rider into Choops. Yep. That's gonna be hard to handle. Yeah, not ideal. Plus we take four here. Ooh. I mean, they didn't play Soren pre-combat. They might just play two more guys. Boy, Adanto Vanguard's gonna be hard to deal with. I do want to play this Black White Vampires deck, though. This one on Dante Vanguard. Grim Tour Fae Wishes? No, not at all. Those are way too slow. We're making acronyms. Bow Body. I'm going to go to the next game. I don't think we can handle this. But maybe we can. Scarab God could be a force to be reckoned with. We can get Choops for 4-4 four, four next turn. We just have to not die here. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This guy deals with damage, right? Oh, God. So, 5. You go to 4. Wait, how did he die? How did he die? What did I miss? Oh, this guy gets a death touch? Yeah, okay, that's pretty good. All right, we're just gonna go to the next game. Maybe we should have taken the, the, the Soren. I don't know, man. This deck is hard. Okay, we're definitely bringing in Richies of Soots. And that's probably the only card we have for this kind of matchup. Wow, that's rough. Uh, let's take out Big Fat Bolus. Yeah, that's a yikes for me, dog. We need a new manager. Sure. That was, yeah, that was my preview card. Over at CoolStuffInc.com where you can find all the articles every Wednesday. Buy yours truly. And you can use promo code FRANK5 to get 5% off. I think it's probably better to murder Shrido this guy. It's going to save us three damage. You know what, why don't you take a day off from the whole gym stick? stick. Try caring about something. You might find out you like it, James. <laughs> Ryan has some great moments, man. Yeah, Jim's a real nice guy. That's why I got the desk.
bow body. Bow body. Thank you. Oh, Kid Cabbage, welcome back, my dude. Really appreciate the resub. <laughs> oh, God, it was like hugging a skeleton. <laughs> yeah, take one of my Thieves of Sanity. I dare you. Yeah, come at me with that guy. I feel like we're doing okay. Do I get in there with this guy? No, because he's holding down the fort from all three of these. Shut up about the sun! Shut up about the sun! death touch and plus three plus three so you'll be a five six this is fine i'll block with this guy if you want to pump totally cool dude i'll gain two we'll draw land we'll flip nikki b that's not terrible shut up about the sun um, first one, what are we going to pick? Legion Lieutenant. Next one, what are we going to pick? Oh, Soren? I kind of like that. We can go Soren Legion Lieutenant here. Sack the Legion Lieutenant to kill this guy. Oh, I like that. See you later, idiot. <laughs> that was pretty good. You got it. That's sad, but I got two thieves of sanity on the board. So we can also just flip this guy. Let's see what we're gonna what we're gonna do. Why did I attack with the Nicobolus? Oh, because we want we want a guy back. Um, knight seems fine. Just taking all their knights and all their friggin' champions of dust. Sure, mono knights got deck. Did I flip this guy? No. I think we're just gonna play one of these guys. Play the other one. I mean, we're back at 16. We have double thieves. You got champion in dust? Drana? Okay. My turn. My turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this game's over. Like quite literally over because they're they're dead. Tokens, mystical speeds pretty bad, they don't have blue cards. Thought our issues. Shut up about the sun. <clears throat> You got one. Oh, we're taking the Vanguard for sure. That guy is a pain in the ass. So now we're probably going to take. 
I want to take this Soren because I don't really feel like dealing with that guy next turn. Um, do I need a fourth land? Not yet. So. This is all fine. We're definitely gonna murder us. Oof. I think we're just gonna wait and play that. Shut up about the sun. Yeah. That's probably gonna win us the game. Now I wish I... Yeah, I wish I played this untapped so I can kill this guy now, but... Do I just want to cast down to prevent three? Like, we're going to take six, right? No, we're going to take seven? Yeah, I don't want to take seven here. We're just murderous riding this guy. Will come for you one day. I feel okay being at nine with them having no cards in hand. I mean, they can play anything they draw, though, which is the problem. But that guy doesn't do anything on the board. Well, neither does... Neither do any of our cards, unfortunately. Ha! Oh, man. Thief of Sanity. OP. OP. In the middle of the screen, oh, pee. Guys. I think we did it. I think we broke the format again. We're so good at this game. Is Fall Guys super tilting? I feel like it was too fun and fanciful to be tilting. Maybe I want one more Bedevil in the sideboard. Like, it's so weird. I literally, when I'm in this mode with this view, I literally drag the card to the sideboard, add one, and then drag it back. Mm. Seems weird, man. Either way, I think we're going to call it with this. This deck was pretty sweet. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, Bolus Tribal. Be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash frankport, patreon.com slash frankport, mana traders, or cool stuff, Inc. All of those links and promo codes can be found down below if you guys want to support the channel, or you can just follow or subscribe on Twitch and YouTube. Uh, those are great things to do. And, uh, yeah, Bolus Tribal, pretty sweet. Uh, four, five, six, seven, nine Boluses, two Ugins, and two Scarab Gods. Scarab God just... Don't play a blue black deck without Scarab God. It's just what you should do. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>